Shalom, shalom. It's your boy Joe. J to the O, aka Regal, BKA, Yaosu, the closest one to the sun, trying to be the closest thing to the perfect human being, Jesus Christ. And if I ain't, let me think what I think. Y'all mean, shout out to the TOP gang. We in the building. So, see a 304 breaker. What does this mean, right? Because I discern the spirit. Some people may have a question about this. Um, so let's get right to it. Let's make this quick. As the earth becomes more dark, as outer darkness, BKA or AKA, uh, dark cruelty starts to manifest more and more on this earth and the light that Yahweh has given Israel, the horn of David becomes brighter and brighter. Women of all walks of life are going to start looking at their best options. And as this physical plane becomes more spiritual, because this, this is all supernatural, dark cruelty, the, 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 the storm that's about to come upon the earth, Yah regathering his children, taking them up to the mountain, to the wilderness, to green luxuriant, whatever you want to call it. This is all supernatural. And women are going to start looking at their best options. They always do. When societies fall, like I think it was this one place called Bosnia. Excuse me. And their society failed for a while. I think they had got surrounded or something like that. And food couldn't get in. Nobody could really get out. And it was just bad. But in those type of situations, women doll themselves up and start looking for the best options and they have no problem with sharing the best option when things get rough women have no problem sharing a man that can provide and as these supernatural things begin to happen on earth uh, the whole world is going to see the blessing is on the house of the righteous men so women are going to desire to come into a righteous man's house, right? From all walks of life. They might not necessarily even rock with the scriptures or may, may not necessarily want to serve y'all. They just want to be where the food is. They just want to be where the luxury is. They just want to be where the sun is and, and the beaches are. And, and, and just, I mean, it's going to be like a beautiful, luscious, forest you know uh, like a garden of eden it's gonna be sun scorched land and well watered earth you know so they they gonna they gonna they gonna feel that they gonna vibe with that and we're gonna be kicking it we're gonna be fly so of course they're gonna be looking in, the, in our direction but <clears throat> if she's a 304 and she's choosing up on you you got to break her. And what that mean is you got to make sure that she comprehend it's all about Torah. No compromise. Or she can go back out to, to the dark. And that's, that's the whole thing, the whole role. Polygyny is allowed. And she will be submissive, fully submissive to every righteous desire of her master, her husband. There is no telling your husband no, as long as he's within the book. If, if it's a sin, then it can be questioned. And, I, and we, what I mean by question is, first we gotta look at it, is it, is it a sin or are you just saying this, this is a sin? Let's find it in the book and make sure that you're correct and assuming that your husband is is telling you to sin because he might not be but i can't really see that happening and also if you're a woman you should find somebody you could trust it's it's a lot easier to submit when you trust who you're submitting to right so do yourself a favor and deal with somebody you can trust and men these women are going to start trusting you when they see the blessings on your house, they're going to start trusting you. 
But anyway, there is no telling your husband no. Now, these women have had it very good. This has been their kingdom. A woman rides the beast. Uh, they've uh, they removed the men. The state removed the men, allowed the women to be essentially be the heads of the home. Um, then, with social media and everything, they could have all kind of thirst traps and dudes uh, all in their inbox and they DM. I mean, it's just been a wonderful kingdom for three old folks. It really has. But this kingdom is coming down and a righteous kingdom is being built. And in order for those three, those ex three old foes to even think about participating, they need to be broken into this Torah. And we need to see fruit. Real talk. Now, so, I'm, well, just put it like this. Just make sure she desires to hear the Torah. Not that you got to force her to hear the Torah. Or she's breathing hard every time you want to talk about the Torah. Because I know for Joe, Joe talk about the Torah all day. If, if, a, if a lady don't like to hear about Torah, she ain't going to like being around Joe. Now, Joe do turn up. Joe turn up a lot. But Joe work hard, though. Joe work hard, but he party harder. <laughs> well... I don't know, maybe about the same amount. But Joe work hard, though. You just, you, you don't turn up without putting in some work first, you know? But anyway, so, yeah, you have to make sure, you have to be the priest of your home. You have to make that decision. Is this woman worth dealing with? Because if you bring a woman who does not desire to be broken into the Torah, into your home, she's going to tear your home down. And we're not going to allow that in Green Luxuriant. Green Luxuriant is going to be a highly simp-free zone. And if Joe find out you're simping, you're going to have a problem on your hands. So it would be better for you to cut loose any woman who does not want to be obedient to what her master has to say. These women can cry they can manifest, they can pout, they can do all the little mental manipulation techniques that they like to try. Uh, remember what Kev Kevin Samuels would say, uh, shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right. They can try all that, but they're going to have to do all that in outer darkness. They're not going to be able to do that in green luxuriant. But they're not going to want to do that because when they see the blessing on our house versus the despair and dark cruelty the choice is easy it's just do you have what it takes to lay down the law in your house to be the king of your house because we lost paradise by adam essentially simping and then joe grew up in the davidic lineage and in the davidic lineage there are punishments on top of the curses, we already got the curses. So I was born into the curses. Joe was born into the curses. But Joe also had punishments because of the sins of David and Solomon. And the sin of Solomon was he started worshiping other guys and built altars because of his wives, because of his many wives. His sin wasn't necessarily having many wives. His sin was his many wives led him into sin by them somehow persuading him into building altars for pagan gods, right? Essentially simping. So the first thing we do in Green Luxuriant, we keep it P. We keep it patriarchal. That's it. That's it. It doesn't mean being hard on them. You can actually love them very tenderly when they comprehend their role. If they want to push back, then you can... You can um, discipline them in a manner where it doesn't have to be overly excessive you know put on punishment for a couple of days hey you gotta go to your room no tv or whatever i don't know if we're gonna have tv and green but you everything you like doing you don't get to do that for a couple of days and you gotta fast and you gotta put on sackcloth you don't get to wear fly garments uh, whatever children you may have one of the other wives to watch her watch your uh, watch your you know your children or whatever and uh and you just got to go in your room and 
and think about what you done did. And I'll holler at you in a couple days. You don't get no food. You don't get no water. Yeah, drink a little water now. Drink a little water. Now for two days, you don't get no food, no water. And you got to sit in your room. And maybe give her a couple books to read. Stuff like that. But ultimately, if a woman doesn't want to obey, she's going to have to leave. She's not going to be able to stay. So, it will be better for you to deal with women who desire to want to serve you. And the way you find that out is just, where's her fruit? Does she want to learn? Is she coming to you to learn? Or is it you got to chase her down and try to put some knowledge in her? And she act like she don't want it. You know? So that's the whole... That's the whole part or, or the point I was trying to make about, well, I wasn't trying to make that point necessarily, but when I post stuff like that on my fake book or Facebook timeline, because a lot of music I listen to is player in nature. Although I'm not a player per se, I am a player in the game of life, but I'm not someone who plays with a, a woman's emotions. Or anything of that nature. I'd rather just be straight up and real with her. And that's what I would advise men to do. Off top. Hey, I believe in polygyny. And if you're going to be in my house, I'm going to expect you to be 100% obedient to me. And if she can agree, hallelujah. If she can't agree, let her go on about her business. But don't sit there and play with her because she looks nice. Because that's not going to get you anywhere except punished. I pray y'all have a blessed day. Shalom.